Hello and welcome to SSB Crack Exams. I am Hemant and now we are going to discuss the most important defense updates of India and abroad that will help you in your preparation for various defense examinations. Before beginning, I would like to tell you that SSB Crack Exams is India's largest and most preferred online defense exams preparatory portal. It is one stop solution for you to crack any defense examination including NDA, CDS, AFCAD, INET, Territorial Army and Indian Air Force Airmen Group X and Group Y. You can come on board with us and start off with your preparation in a very detailed and strategic way. You can follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Telegram and even directly visit us through our website learn.ssbcrackexams.com and even download our app from Google Play Store to have each and every information in your hand. I would like to start off with the question of the day which I have posted yesterday on 29th of April 2020 and that was which class corvettes are the Indian variants of the Soviet Tarantul class corvettes? And the correct answer for this is Veer class. To get more in detail about this, the Veer class corvettes of the Indian Navy are a customized Indian variant of the Soviet Tarantul class. They form the 22nd killer missile vessel squadron of the Indian Navy. Current active corvettes under the Veer class include the INS Nishank, INS Vibhuti, INS Vipul, INS Vinash, INS Vidyut, INS Nashak, INS Prabal and INS Pralaya. All of these are active and are still under service. Now we will start off with the updates and the first defense update that I am going to discuss is about the Aero India 2021. It is to be held from February 3rd to February 7th of 2021. It will be conducted on the same date and in the same place at Air Force Station Yelahanka according to the event site decided by the Ministry of Defense. People had a thought that this particular Aero India 2021 event will not be con uh, conducted because of the COVID-19 issues but nothing is, is going to happen like that. It is going to be conducted in the same way. Aero India is a premier international event that draws international and Indian military and civil aircraft makers. They support industries besides military bases and government dignitaries and our 2 lakh public and business uh, visitors will also be presented here. It's a very long time organizer defense exhibition organization is now going to organize this particular event in 2021. Last year the same event was organized by the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited our own Indian company. The Armada tank field is tested in Syria. This is a very important update because Armada tank is a main battle tank of Russia. This tank is currently in a testing developmental phase but this particular tank's field has been tested in Syria. Why in Syria? Russia has been using Syria as a test bed for its new combat systems since the Syrian civil war and it has been undergoing these particular events on the name of stabilization support for Syria. Armata has attracted a very important significant foreign interest and has reflected in a very few preliminary orders too. The next update is about the Russian army. It receives the new T-90M main battle tank. This is an extremely important information for us to consider this particular day. An upgraded variant of T-90 was actually developed by the T-90 manufacturer who is Ural Wagon Zavod Enterprise, UVZ Enterprise. It is first developed and delivered to the Tamyanskia Motor Rifle Division which is a unit of guard tank army which is deployed in the western region of Russia. To get more into this, its main important features that have to be considered, the main reason it came into the news is because it, it has an improved version of 2A46 125mm stabilized cannon and all the fire control systems are borrowed from the new T14 Armata tank which I have discussed it in the same news before. The fire control is programmed to fire three types of rounds which include high speed kinetic APF SDS. APF SDS means armor piercing fin stabilized discarding sabot. I have discussed regarding what is actually APF SDS in a few different uh, defense updates with a few previous days. It has a heat ammunition and high explosive air burst fragmentation projectile and it is used to target against very soft targets and structures. To get more in detail it has Kalina the name of the automatic target tracker. It is Kalina and it is fire control computer developed for the T14 and now it has been used in the T90M also. The special power of this Kalina automatic target tracker is once you target a particular tank and all it will be directly targeted and the target will be fixed and the target will move wherever the tank will be moving. The independent panoramic commander site is also there which I have shown here in this particular picture. It uses reflex missiles whose range is around 5 kilometers and it has many protection gears and armors. The next update is about TS Tirumurthy. He has been appointed as India's permanent representative to the United Nations succeeding Akbaruddin. 
actually akbaruddin said akbaruddin was credited with effectively speaking india's position on a range of crucial issues at the global bodies headquarters but ts tirumurthy has succeeded him he has been presenting more than this previously he was serving as a secretary in the ministry of external affairs and now yesterday on wednesday was appointed as india's permanent representative to the un the next update is about the indian navy and air force are readying their amphibious ships and aircraft for evacuating gulf nris this evacuation will be the most largest evacuation ever previously the largest evacuation occurred when the iraq and the kuwait were in a civil war now this is a largest evacuation than before most of the people are being evacuated from the gulf countries belong to the south and the flights or the ship will head there straight away and they will be quarantined for a mandatory of 14 days of period The next important update is about a Kashmir woman has been shot while the police were trying to snatch uh, battle with a battle mob and seeking to snatch a top militant's body who is this top militant his name is Burhan Majid Koka he is the commander of Ansar Ghazwatul Hind which is a Al Qaeda's regional affiliate in Kashmir he has been shot down by the police and a very stone throwing mob was trying to snatch the militant's body and it has been being moved from the site of shootout in the native village of melhora near shopian in the southern kashmir and while firing this particular mob uh, a kashmiri woman has been sustained to two injuries her two legs have been shot the next update is about the pakistan's new midget submarine has been spotted by a satellite image emerging is it an emerging challenge to india in the arabian sea that is a very important question that has been uh, pondered upon this is a development of uh, new midget submarine and this not only shows that pakistan is uh, indigenous it has capability to build indigenous submarines it is also showing that pakistan is preparing for underwater warfare and the submarine will actually fill up the gap in protecting the karachi port this has been uh, used to replace the current mg 110s in service with the special service group of the pakistan navy operations such as frogmen operations lying mines and so on the next update is about the story of as 565 panther helicopter of indian navy this is a very beautiful update giving you today so indian navy is interested in procuring 123 naval multi role helicopters with anti submarine warfare capabilities and 111 armed light naval utility helicopters from airbus the total value of the two contracts is estimated over 10 billion dollars airbus has been proposing the panther helicopter for the non uh, naval utility helicopter program to get more in detail about this particular naval utility helicopter i would like to tell you that this is a panther helicopter the panther helicopter is a multi role helicopter designed for a multitude of naval and coast guard missions such as maritime surveillance search and rescue casualty evacuations and many other anti piracy so even on uh, attacking the anti submarine warfare anti surface warfare counter terrorism operations and all the weapons it include include the cabin mounted 7.62 mm machine gun external side mounted 12.7 mm machine gun 12.7 mm sniper rifle cabin mounted 20 mm gun and there are one or two as244 torpedoes and there is even one mu90 torpedo and one or two anl missiles too to get more into this mahindra aerostructures became the first indian company to receive a direct manufacturing contract from airbus helicopters as a tier 1 supplier the parts of the airbus helicopter and mahindra contract will be produced at the mahindra facility in bangalore and once all of these are done they are shipped directly to the airbus helicopter production line in mag marignane in france where all of these parts would be integrated and airframe assembly will be made and critical parts of all the panther helicopters would be sold worldwide the next update is about the additional encounter news a woman was uh, nux, a woman naxal was killed in chatisgarh yesterday two cops have been injured in that particular encounter a former jammu and kashmir special police officer was shot by the militants in the kupwara district of kashmir next update is about the pakistani supreme court after so many years it laid importance on the occupied gilgit baltistan area where which where the people were not given constitutional guarantees the chief justice of the pakistan supreme court chief justice gulzar ahmed has been questioning the pakistani government he has been telling that we don't understand why the people of gilgit baltistan cannot enjoy a similar protection as guaranteed by the constitution of pakistan when they are totally connected with the pakistan as they carry the same passport and use the same currency 
The next update is about saluting Indian Air Force relentless efforts in battling COVID-19. Indian Air Force has been transporting around 600 tons of medical equipment across the country as of now. 22 tons of medical supply has been airlifted to Mizoram and Meghalaya on a single day of 25th of April. And operation is still in progress. And that is it for around today's current defense updates. Now we will go for a very quick review. I will be asking many different questions. The main important questions that you have to consider for today is about Panther helicopter is a is it a light combat helicopter or a multi-role helicopter or a heavy lift helicopter or attack helicopter? The answer for this is that it is a multi-role helicopter. Fire control systems of Russian new T-90 main battle tank is borrowed from what? It is borrowed from the T-14 Armata tank. Next is the name of the automatic target tracker used in the T-90 main battle tank of Russia. Is it Kalina or Gorshkov or Descent or Pekoti? The answer for this is Kalina. Aero India 2021 is conducted between February 3rd to 7th of 2021, the next year. Indian Navy is procuring how many light naval utility helicopters from Airbus? The answer for this is 111. Now we will have the question of the day. The question of the day is, what is the name of India's indigenously built third generation main battle tank, which is actually developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization? Our own developed India's indigenously built third generation main battle tank, which was actually manufactured by DRDO. What is the name of it? I will be discussing with the about its answer in the next session. I will be telling with you what is the speciality of that particular tank and why is that tank very important for our country. So stay tuned to SSB crack exams, stay home, stay safe and Jai Hind.